What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and this is an entire leg workout. This is my last leg workout and my goal for this was to squat 455 pounds for three sets of six and then deadlift 505 for two sets of six. And to give you a sense of progression, I'd squatted 440 for three sets of six and it was extremely difficult and that was actually the day of the deadlift bros video. The deadlift bros video was just obviously the deadlift portion of that workout where I did 500 for two sets of six. But the squats, as I said, were 440 for three sets of six and that was extremely difficult and I took long pauses in between reps. So that means if I can add 15 pounds to what I was able to do with three sets of six and reduce the time I take in between reps, that is going to mean that I'm definitely a lot stronger since then and I actually have a meet on November 9th and that's the next thing I want to talk about that that meet is the Ohio State powerlifting championship meet and I'm really not preparing for it like I would for a bigger meet because really the main goal I have is for the Arnold Classic and that's in the spring so this meet really isn't one I'm gonna peak for but I'm hoping to hit some decent numbers and the goal is to hit at least 1450 as my total. If I can do that, that'll set me up quite well for later on for the Arnold and for that meet, that's where I want to hit 1500 or more if all goes well. I made a little adjustment after the first set with 455. I actually moved my squad stance in by just a little bit and this allowed me to be much more explosive on the next two sets. Right now I'm not on my six week program because I didn't have enough time before this meet to run a full cycle. So what I actually did is I'm doing a linear program and I'm actually going to make that linear program formally available to you guys probably this weekend. I have two main goals with that program. The first goal is for beginners who may progress a little bit too quickly for a percentage based program. And then the second goal is if you just don't have a time frame that you can work with like right now with me if you don't have exactly six weeks or if you need a more consistent schedule where you just work two days for upper body and two days for lower body that's going to be the basic setup because i understand that some people can't run the exact six week cycle they don't have the time to have a changing schedule so this will be a little bit more flexible with that as well but what i'm going to do moving forward is after this meet then i'm going to use my maxes to run a couple six week cycles before the Arnold Classic. So that's how I'm gonna use this meet to my advantage. And I'm very excited to see how it goes because also one of my goals on top of totaling over 1450, hopefully, would be to deadlift 600 pounds. It's gonna be interesting because I haven't deadlifted heavy in quite some time. And since I'm not gonna be peaking for this meet, I'm really not gonna know what to expect. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. I've also noticed that it's very easy to PR on the deadlift in meets compared to the other two lifts. For the bench and squat, it actually can be a little bit more difficult with listening to the commands, but when it comes to the deadlift, because all you have to do is simply lift the weight, it allows you to really use that adrenaline and that excitement of the meet to your advantage. As far as this workout, I was extremely satisfied with this. This was really a make or break training session because this really showed where I was at and if I was ready to actually set a PR, keep getting stronger, because I'm really trying to take my strength to a different level this year, I wasn't really satisfied with how I performed at the National Powerlifting Meet. I've noticed that the sport of powerlifting and USAPL raw powerlifting seems to be picking up in popularity. So what I'm anticipating is what's good now might not necessarily be what's good in one to two years from now, maybe three years from now. So that's just more motivation for me to make sure that I keep getting stronger and never remain stagnant with my training. By the way, on this last set of deadlifts, I honestly pushed the limit a little bit more than I'm usually comfortable with. And that's really because I did have this set number I want to hit. I probably should have taken a longer break before that last set because as you saw the set before this with 505 for 6 was fairly easy so I think I just rushed it a little bit and was a little tired. I ended this workout with some ab training which I usually recommend to do on leg day since your lower back is taxed to prevent imbalances. All right, that's it guys. Make sure to like the video to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching guys. Peace.
around me.